time, so I just don't keep talking on and on, but um, so good to be here, so good to see so many familiar faces. Um, this is great that you've done, and Happy New Year. And what year is it? 2016. See, you guys, when you came, I was always so surprised that you were way ahead of the United States. That's 57 years. When I first came to Cameron, there were six uh, students from Nepal. Six. And um, Kundan Rai was one. We were back there naming them. Kundan, Suzit, um, uh, uh, there were six. <laughs> Is she saying them? Susanna? Santos, uh, Santos, Srijana, um, and Timosina. Yeah. Well, anyway, there were six. And I was the secretary in the international office when I started. So some of you might not remember that or know that. Um, that was November 2004. Uh, 2005, January, um, I got to see the first orientation of students. I was just a helper. Uh, I wasn't in charge. And we had 17 students. I thought, oh, this is great. I love it. I love it. Then the, the person uh, that was the international student coordinator at that time resigned in July and I applied for the job and I got it. So I didn't have a secretary because I was the secretary. I didn't have a student worker because they got home for the summer. And I got 49 students. Oh my God. Wow. They were all lined up in the hallway uh, at North Shepler while I was trying to do their paperwork. And I didn't, I had to go over to the other computer. I had to walk around and go to the other computer to get into uh, the uh, tracking system, see this. And then I had to go back to my desk where I had everything. So it was really time consuming. We had lots of people in the community. They were just starting the Friendship Family Program. And I called uh, some people. They started picking people up at the airport. Um, I was trying to think of somebody who was in that group. I think Alan, maybe Alan Kantakar might have been in that group because Rabati came and did all, brought his paperwork and said the student wants to come. Um, then, I guess it was 2007, some students were trying to help me. We were working with Diksha International for recruiting students and they made arrangements um, for us to pick them up in Oklahoma City because as you know our policy was just the lot in the airport or the lot in bus station. We had um, made all the arrangements. We were getting 21 students coming into the Oklahoma City airport. We had all the itinerary was uh, emailed to me. Not the itinerary, an email was sent to me. About 11 o'clock on Friday night I got a call from one of the students and said, we're at the airport, nobody's here to pick us up. Well, because of the day difference, we had planned on coming on Saturday. <laughs> and so here I am, waking everybody up, trying to get people to drive two buses from Cameron to go pick these students up in Oklahoma City. Uh, Lance Janda, at that time, uh, was working in the graduate department, and he came and there was somebody else from transportation that came and drove the other bus. But I remember Lance Jan brought water and snacks. I thought that was so thoughtful. I didn't even think of that. I was just a, 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 you know, a nervous wreck. We picked the kids up. We got back to Cameron. It was sometime early morning. No, nobody had prearranged housing. Surprise, surprise. I'm learning something new starting. 2007, <laughs> um, because students were supposed to have pre-arranged housing, and it just seemed so easy the spring semester, you know. But um, the dormitory at that time let them stay in the rooms. So they all found rooms, got them in, went home. It was morning, slept a couple hours, went on with my day. But that was a fun group. And I, uh, I know Domador was in with that group. Some other students came in later. Um, Sadiksha Bhandari, Sweta. Um, there was somebody else that we just mentioned. Anyway, that group. What I didn't know was every time I, they were looking for housing. You know, the housing around Cameron's not that great. 
And uh, they, they didn't know what to do. How do we turn on electricity? How do we turn on our, get a phone? How do we call our parents? How do we get a calling card? How do we get, you know, calling cards? They don't even have those anymore, I don't think. Um, it was electricity and water. How do we do that? So I was going one by one. I said, you know, I'm going to stay late from work today and create a little cheat sheet. And when the students come in and need help with that, here's the information. This is what you do. So that uh, that forced me to kind of get organized with the students coming in. But I remember those three girls coming into my office for maybe the fourth time. Every time I turned around, they were there needing help with something else. And this lady came in that had been to Nepal, and she uh, had brought another student. She had picked her up at the airport in Oklahoma City because she met the parents. And um, and I don't even remember her name. Something to No. Uh, well, it might have been. It might have been, yeah. I bet you're right. And so anyway, uh, this lovely lady brought her in. Her name was Judy Bear. Anybody remember yeah. Char the late Charlie Bear and Judy Bear? They helped so many of our students. They were not friendship family, they became friendship family, and they helped so many students. She just swooped those girls up and said, I'm just gonna take them home with me. <laughs> I hope you can hear her saying that. And she did, and she helped them find housing. Well, I think Charlie went to Africa, or Judy went to Africa, and Charlie was the one that ended up with all the girls. The next year we had a large group, 50 students from Nepal. We had 99 students and 50 were from Nepal. So it, was, it had grown exponentially since, since uh, I had come. And these students were so great, all of you. You started your own organization, Kuna, and here we are today because of that. You have this reunion plan. You started sharing your culture with us. You're dancing. My goodness, that was what made the International Student Banquet so popular, I think, was all the students from Nepal were going to be dancing. Mm -hmm. Then you started, when you started Kuna, you started also not only helping the International Club raise money, but you had your own New Year's celebration and you had lots of dancing and stuff. So we, we learned a lot from you. We learned a lot about your uh, holidays. We learned that you love to play soccer <laughs> and cricket and table tennis. I think Jiwon was one of the <laughs> champs. <laughs> In 2013, I had the privilege of going to Nepal. I went to Kathmandu and met with uh, some agencies there to recruit more students for Nepal, from Nepal. And uh, I really enjoyed myself. Uh, it was so nice to see where so many of our students were coming from. Although I didn't get to go to Pokhara, I'm really sorry about that till this day. My husband is back here, Gus. We'll have to go back. <laughs> and you'll have to come with me. <laughs> so I really enjoyed that so much. And I was so thankful. For, uh, almost to the day in 2015 was when that earthquake came and had demolished some of those historic buildings that I, I remember visiting. I'm glad I wasn't in one. But also the Friendship family was really active. And when we, when I retired, the uh, coordinator for the Friendship family said, Marcel, we, we have six boys. Six students are all male, and they all live together. And I can't find anybody. I said, we'll take them. We'll take them. We took along a Kenyan and a student from Egypt. And um, then when some of the students, six students are, how many of them are here in that original group? There's one, and Ujwa was in that group. Were you? Also, you ended up kind of coming along. Like <laughs> anyway, um, when, when those students would move out, new students would come in, so we just claimed them all. But it, it's been a wonderful, wonderful experience. And I, I am so grateful for the experiences that I've had with each one of you, and to learn more about your culture, and for all that you've done to our community and for Cameron University for all that you've shared and, and just a, you're just a great bunch. And thank you for letting me come here today and share some of those memories. Thank you.